Why do I do what I do? I do what I do so I can do what I want when I want. How did I go from a stressful IT job renting an apartment where the, the lights in the kitchen leaked every time it rained to semi-retirement with a land purchase in Belize? Let me tell you. What's up folks, I'm Jay D'Souza and you may have heard of me in your print on demand journey, but if you haven't, I'm one of the co-creators of the 30 day Etsy challenge that we ran for a few years where we had guests like some POD company developers and Anthony from E-Rank who by the way were also kind enough to have us on one of their episodes alongside some incredible rock stars you guys all know and love. And if you don't know these two, get to know them. I'll share their links below. I'm also the owner of the largest specifically Etsy print on demand Facebook group called Etsy Print On Demand. It's a great group of learning, support, and knowledge without the drama and constant complaining that is rampant in most of the Facebook groups. I have a corporate graphic design background and climbed the ranks of management in just two short years. That was at Canada's number one publishing company. As the graphic services manager there, I was managing, I think, 144 graphic designers. Fast forward three years, I was about to get married and we just bought a house and then along came layoffs. Then I found myself managing at one of the big five banks. That was crazy stress. Eating through breaks or not at all, 12 hour shifts, including mandatory overtime, plus an hour commute each way. We do a week of days and a week of nights with a regular flip flopping, nothing even sort of consistent, and two day conference calls at, at least twice a month. Like going home, having a nap, showering, and coming back to the same call was insane and the stress was physically manifesting. It was literally crushing my soul and turning me into an asshole. My sleep schedule was so brutal that I found myself having two to three beers when I got home, which you know quickly turned into five or six. That was the only way I could get to sleep for more than three hours at a time. I even thought about hurting myself too and it's, it, it's terrible, but I'd wake up around 4 a.m. after about three hours of sleep and just sit on the side of the bed with my head in my hands, wondering how I could maybe injure myself just a little enough that I didn't have to go into work that day. And I thought I was alone until one of my counterparts messaged me and asked if I ever thought of hurting myself. How crazy is that? I was obviously not the only one thinking this. We didn't want to take our own lives or anything, but we most definitely wanted to maybe, you know, break bones or something to get out of work for even two days. Now I look back and I see how disgusting the corporate culture was and how little they actually cared about us. I went to my family doctor about my stress headaches. Um, I had back pain and you know irritable bowels and he suggested I take some time off to speak to somebody. I ended up talking to a shrink and she opened my eyes as to how terrible the situation actually was. So after only a few visits I knew I had to make a change like stat. I hammered out literally hundreds of ads on Kijiji, Craigslist and all kinds of classified stuff offering freelance graphic design services. Six months later I had enough business to barely pay the bills. But that was all I needed to end my bank job before it ended me. Anyway, one of those ads got me a call from a guy about doing designs for his Etsy t-shirt shop. He was doing vinyl on tees and business was booming, so he needed a designer to come up with new designs for old ideas. So he'd send me links to all his competitions listings and I'd go to town making them better. I was getting paid 15 bucks a pop at first until I saw the potential of the passive income element and I quickly changed the arrangement to, you know, $3 royalties for every t-shirt he sold and $5 for every hoodie. It worked for both of us. It made me create bangers so that they'd sell over and over now that I had a vested interest in these designs. And well, I can tell you, it didn't take too long for me to open my own shop. And in 2013, I did just that and he was then fulfilling for me. I was now doing print on demand before it was a household name. Then a year later, one of my freelance clients introduced me to a young couple of 20 or something dudes who had these insane full color printers in their garage that could put my artwork on t-shirts. I used to airbrush tees and hustle them out of my backpack in high school, you know, riding around on my BMX and stuff. So when I was able to design like full color without any limits again, I was hooked. This was an absolute game changer. Anyway, we worked with them fulfilling my orders for a few years that eventually saw them going from a garage to warehouse to a full on industrial print facility with 20 of these $50,000 printers. Their goal was to be Printful's competition in a time where Printful had basically no real competition. Now they've built and sold multiple POD companies, the likes of which are even on Printify's roster now. 
Print On Demand allows me to see the world and experience life the way it was meant to be experienced. My dad worked until 65 only to retire and then get diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis two years later. He was given five years to live. He dies almost exactly five years later and only has, what, three to three and a half decent quality years of life after retirement? This concept of working until you're retired and then hopefully you're healthy enough to enjoy your golden years is absolute garbage. The golden years are now. Pay attention to this. They're now no matter what stage you're at in your life. Etsy and Amazon Merch have afforded me and my family the opportunity to travel and even purchase land in Belize to do what we want, when we want, and be able to spend the time we want to spend with the people we want to spend it with most. And for that, I'm super grateful. I humbly ask that you subscribe so that I can spend even more time helping you in your print-on-demand journey so that you can do more of the things you want to do with your time. The moral here is life is short, so take risks. Otherwise, you'll end up doing the same crap for the rest of your lives and maybe even hating every minute of it like I did. Check out this video to see how I made $250,000 on Amazon Merch On Demand, and this one is the one YouTube thinks that you want to see next. See you in the next one.